All right, today we are on a viewer's account doing another account review video. He reached out to me on one of my last account review videos that I did for a friend and I gave him my Discord and we got things set up here. He wanted me to help him with things like artifacts, team building, and how he can beat the Spyro for a little bit. So today I'm gonna try and do that and hopefully we can help him get a 36 star on the spiral a bit. If you want a chance to get your account reviewed, I'm going to leave some steps in the description below. Obviously, I can't review everybody's account, but I'm going to try to review the most interesting ones or the ones that need the most help. But before we get into the video, guys, I'd just like to take a second to show you guys that only 5% of you are actually subscribed. So if you could just take a second to go down and click that subscribe button, it really doesn't take that much time and it really helps me out a lot. Anyways, let's get into the video. All right, let's jump straight into things. Adventuring 58 and shop. You have not bought any of the new gem packs at least. I'm not sure if you may have bought them before the bonuses. If you bought the battle pass, let's see weapon. I have bought the battle pass. You bought it twice at least. You do have serpent spine. So you bought the battle pass at least three times. So we're dealing with like maybe like a little guppy here. So not too much money has been spent on the game. But let's just look at the five star roster though. What are we looking at here? So we got Shen Ha, Artak Ido, all good choices. Very solid. You missed out on Ayako, which is unlucky. Definitely a good pickup there. Kazuha, which is very crucial unit. You got Zhao, nice. Zhongli Albedo. You have all of the standard banner five stars. Very, very nice. Or actually, I'm not sure if that's nice or not. You might have lost a couple 50-50s on these, actually. So maybe not so nice. And then you also got Venti and Klee. The only important five stars that you really missed out on here are probably Ganyu, Hu Tao, Ayaka. All right, so let's look at the Spiral of Fist progression here. Okay, so you, oh, well, you got 35 stars, so you're pretty close. Like a little margin away from beating it. You just need to do a little more optimizing and then you'll get there. So I'm going to try to help you with that. So for team comps, let's see what characters you have leveled up. You have quite a bit leveled up. Oh my goodness, almost all your characters are above 70. I think you're spread a bit too thinly here. Like, you really don't need to have, you know, Zinyan, Lisa, Ningguang, Changyun, and really Rosaria, Noel, Goro. Like... I guess if you're leveling up every character, then, like, it's your game, honest. But you really don't need to have every character at 70. But you seem to be leveling up a lot of characters, which makes me a little worried for your artifacts and talents. Because it looks like you're spending a lot on ley lines. One thing I also noticed is that, is that you have no primal gems. You got no primal gems and you got no wishes, which means you're not wishing on any of the banners anytime soon. Or at least you're not playing the game right now, or as much. All right, let's look at the inventory. What weapons do we have here? So your only five-star weapon is Lost Prayer of the Sacred Winds, which you probably got from the standard banner, I imagine. You have an R2, you refined it. That definitely was not the right choice. If you ever get two five-star weapons and you're a free-to-play player, you definitely just build two of them separate so you can use them on two separate characters because it's honestly just worth it than refining it and getting like this small little bonus, which I don't even know what this bonus is. Maybe it was 5% before and you get a 5% bonus, like, it's really not worth it. You might as well just use it on another character. I bet you got Rust, Stringless, all all these look like good weapon choices. Hamayumi, yep. Alley Flash on your Bennett, great, great, great. Sacrificial Sword on Zin- I don't know anything about Zinyan, so I'm not gonna comment. But overall, you look like you're you pretty well. You, you have only 200 artifacts, which is a little low, but that is all right. You do have a quite a few level 20 artifacts i think i may have a little more though but you got about two pages of level 20 artifacts which is still pretty good not a lot of artifact experience though general mats oh, wow you have no heroes woods books which doesn't shock me considering all your characters are low up and you also have no mora oh my goodness man you are low on resources but something you're not low on is these mob drops you're not low on mob drops at all oh my goodness you must you must grind mobs i think or at least grind somewhat because a thousand of these ain't normal yeah, that's quite a bit maybe i just don't have as much because i don't play the game as often i guess we'll get into the most important thing now which is definitely characters all right so he's, he told me before that he starred all of his favorite characters, which is almost every character in the game. Okay, well, let's see. So let's check our Spiral Abyss first, because we want to get you a very, we want to get you a solid Spiral Abyss team so that you can hopefully beat, because you're struggling with a floor three, right? So for these first two floors, all you need to do really is just defeat them, right? Like all you need to do is defeat the Cryo and the Pyro Waffer Flower. You don't even need to get three stars. All you need to do is get the right team to beat this last floor. And that should not be that difficult considering you have a pretty good account all right so let's set up two teams so you just want some sort of 
hydro comp on the top to take down the abyss lector and then some sort of electro charged or vaporized team on the bottom to take down the abyss arrow should not should be too difficult if you use characters like your i assume your best dps's are probably artak ito zhao yoemiya right in shogun and then maybe klee it's it's unfortunate you don't have some of the best ones in the game like Hu Tao and ganyu but that's all right i'm sure you're still able to beat it without those overpowered dps's considering you have characters like bennett zing cho which are amazing carries in the spiral so even i would say probably you could probably just go honestly you could probably just go national team on the bottom and you'd probably be fine honestly if you go national on a bottom you would crush it i'm almost confident about that National team is just always a good bet for almost any floor, and you have all the characters to do it, so it's almost like, why wouldn't you just go this team? For top half, honestly, like, you're probably fine just going basic Zhao comp with, like, Albedo and Zhongli. Like, your Zhongli is 87, like, and this is, like, a good team, because all these characters, like, you have ascended to, and this is, like, a really nice team. And it's very a generalist team, too, so it would work. Maybe instead of Jean, I would almost go, instead of Jean, I go, actually, I go Kazuha top here, just for the swirl, and then... Zhongli and Albedo, and even on bottom, you could probably still have Zing Cho, even though he doesn't help as much against the Abyss Herald. He's probably still like a good unit for that team, just to get to the first two halves easier for you. And you can go this team on top, and you're gonna crush it. I'm like, I'm so sure of this. All right, let's check characters. It is important that you have all your characters built if you want to pull those teams off. So your Raiden's weapon is Deathmatch. Do you have the catch? You have the catch on Zhongli. That's fine. You don't need to have the catch on Raiden. The Zhongling is just as important, but you may want to have it on Raiden instead. What are your Raiden stats looking like? You are 68, 149, which is pretty good with four emblem. Constellation? Do any of your five stars have constellations? Let's see. No C6 Bennett. That's what we like to see. Uh, no, no constellations. Nope. So it seems all your five stars pretty much are C0. Oh, you got the C2 on Gene? That's huge, actually. That's even more reason to use Gene in the Spiral Abyss. C2 is pretty huge for Gene. Increasing movement speed and attack speed is pretty, pretty huge. And what are your, what is your Gene's? Ugh. What? I'm sorry, what? Why are we using Geo? What? Why are we using Geo damage on Gene? Do we not have Animo ban? Uh, you have one ammo damage cup on your whole account. Oh, you got this. I mean, it's not good by any means, but it's something. But then I guess you lose you lose the four piece noblage effect. I guess if you're just using Gene for a buff and a heal, then I guess damage doesn't really matter. So I guess this is fine if you just want to use Gene for that. You know, stats aren't the best, but it you know all you really need Gene for is buffing and healing. So I guess it's fine. Is your Zhongli just HP Zhongli? Yeah, so obviously, like, this should be level 20, obviously. It's, if it's not, it's fine. This is a really nice piece. Uh, that's also a good piece. That, that's something. Uh, and you, like, yeah, if you're just going HP Zhongli, like, yeah, that's fine, I guess. Let's see your Zhongli. How's your Zhongli doing? You got the catch. Okay. Artifacts, two Wanderers, two Noblesse. All right. You do, you don't have four. Your four emblem is on Raiden. Do you not have another four emblem? You have a four emblem on Zing Cho? No, you only have a two emblem on Zing Cho. So yeah, you definitely want to grind emblem more because having four emblem is important for a lot of units. Like for Zhang Ling, it increases her DPS by so much. The same thing with Zing Cho. And all you need is two more pieces on Zing Cho too. So I would definitely grind the emblem domain. It's something I'd do if I were you. Let's see our Cosmo artifact. The four of your descent, good. All EM pieces, all EM, EM, EM. Crit rate, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you don't have an EM hat, that's really the best you can hope for, I guess. I imagine you probably don't have an EM hat. You do have one on Venti. Um, are you, I imagine you're running four piece VV on Venti too? You are. So it almost, I'd swap, for just for the Spiral Abyss, I'd swap these two around and you can swap that back later if you want and you're right as shogun i don't know if there's anything i can really change with your right as shogun like i don't know if you have any better like obviously the sans and the vessel it's like almost what are you gonna do honestly i like yeah you don't really have any better energy recharge sans, so there isn't really much i can change around here and the and the effect here is very important for raiden especially because she needs to have high high elemental burst damage for her to do damage do you not have a better crit damage hat? We got any better crit damage hat. The, ooh. 
No, that's, that's a healing bonus hat. <laughs> I got excited there for a second. No, so you have, you only have five crit damage hats on your whole account, and none of them have more, rolled crit rate more than once. That's very, very unfortunate, my friend. I would almost recommend using this one more. It is on Zhongling right now, and I'm not sure does Zhongling need it. She is running the two-piece noblesse. With 48, 164, and 192 for recharge, which is fine. I feel like you you must have something to replace this. Like, do you have any no? Oh, you have four noblesse flowers. Oh my goodness. Why do you have this on Diona? Diona doesn't need crit rate. Diona does not need crit rate. Yeah, you. Yeah, we're taking that off of Diona. Oh my goodness. That is a nuts piece. So yeah, like, I don't think Diona really needs crit rate and crit damage. All you need on Diona is energy recharge. So if we take swap this around we put this piece on Zhang Lang, and then we remove this hat and we swap it with raiden shogun and then your stats 65 139 better than it was before that's great and then your raiden shogun now has more energy recharge yeah so 68 149 with 239 recharge like it's just the little improvements we can make right all right so there isn't much you can do with your raiden shogun i say your raiden shogun is fine Kazwa is now P on four piers for your descent. Weapon, I understand. Perfect. Talents on Kazwa, 888. Uh, you, I don't know if you need to level up Kazwa's normal attack. I have heard when Kazwa dies, that affects that damage. So I guess if you really want to upgrade Kazwa's damage that much, then that's fine. But I feel like that's probably not something you want to prioritize. You crown right its burst, which is pretty smart. Don't bother with characters that I don't think you need in the abyss, but your Bennett Alley Flash, very, very smart. Artifacts. You have four noblesse on him, that's great. Constellation five, good stuff. And you crowned his burst, which is what I like to see. Honestly, I don't know how you're not crushing the spiral abyss with a crown Bennett. Uh, and then we'll go to Zhao, which is the other main DPS one to use. Uh, Deathmatch, which is fine and dandy. You have two-piece Shimanawa, two-piece Glad, which is fine. Obviously, you want your piece for your Descent, but not everybody can get that. Yeah, I don't think you had a better piece than this, so that's probably fine. I guess you had that Yo and Mio one's a tiny smidge better, but it's really not that important. Yeah, that piece is fine. So your Zhao is in a flat precision talent. You triple crown your Zhao? Okay, I see you. What are your other crowns at? You crowned Ito's normal attack, which is fine. You crowned Albedo's E, which is good. Uh, you crowned anything else? Uh, Yoimita's normal attack, good stuff. I like that you crowned Pyronado. That is very, very smart. Again, you can go HP jungling. It's just not going to be optimal at all. Like, you can run him with Geo Damage bonus and get it to Archaic, to Noblesse. Would probably be a better route to go. And. You have a pretty good Geo piece right here that you can put on him too. Um, your Zhang Ling is fine and dandy. Probably don't need anything there. Your Yoi Mia, 56, 164. It's not the best I've seen. Uh, Rust, that's good. Menti, as long as you have four piece of descent on all these animal characters, that's really all that matters. Your Arataki Ito, a little low on the crit rate, a little low, but he is looking fine. So yeah, overall, like your account is pretty good, man. Like you really don't have a lot to work on here. It's just a lot of artifact grinding. Again, with any account, that's always what it's going to come down to, is just artifact grinding. The first thing I probably do is I probably I go and farm a four-piece emblem for either your Zhongling or your Zing Cho is probably something important that you should do. And also, you probably want to go and get some artifacts for Jean, whether that's four-piece for Descent or you want to finish her Noblesse set. Either or. Zhang Li, if you want to, you can get him an Archaic Petra Noblesse set. I think that will be better for your account. But, however, if you just want to do boring Zhang Li, that's fine. Not all of us like to do complicated things in life. Overall, man, like, your account's pretty good. You got your talents are almost all really set. I think you are spread a bit too thinly among characters. Like, a lot of these characters, you don't need to have at level 60 at level 70 if you're not using them. And instead, you could spend that time, obviously, grinding artifacts or getting better weapons. Um, weapons are looking pretty good. Like, you, you do have the best four-star weapons for a lot of these characters. But, you know, there will always be five stars that will just be improvements. But, again, what are you going to do? So, yeah. Instead of leveling all your characters to 80, I would spend my time grinding artifacts for 
characters that because you always want to be improving your crit damage and crit rate ratio and also you probably want to try to get five star pieces and four star pieces for your kazua and venti it's not the most important thing but it really really helps other than that i think you're set man so that will be the end of today's video if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more in the future please consider subscribing or leaving a like down below anyways guys thank you for watching